Hello and my name's James and welcome to this Trade Radiators video. Today we're going to have a look at the Trade Direct range of radiators sold by Trade Radiators. We're really proud of our Trade Direct line because we buy directly from the factories and therefore can pass on the savings directly onto you. So let's have a look at just two of the great examples of the Trade Direct line radiators we sell to you at TradeRadiators.com. Once we've got these radiators out of their packaging, you can just see how beautiful they are. But that's not all. When you compare these tower rails to our competitors value ranges, you'll see that they don't have as many bars and as thicker bars as we do. The bars on here are 22 millimeter and there's a lot more horizontal bars going along as well, which means they can give out a massive amount of BTUs. Whereas competitors, most of them are only 19 mil and you don't get as hardly as many horizontal bars going across the radiator. So they're much better like that. And they're available in a huge range of sizes from 600 millimeter high to 1800 millimeter high and 400 millimeter wide to 1000 millimeter wide. And all the tower rails in our value range can be dual fuel with an electric element in the bottom as well. Our value range of radiators are standard for your typical wet hot water system with our pipe centers typically 50 mil less than the radiator width. But be sure to check that before installing. These radiators can be electrically heated up with an element just like these two here. You've got a thermostatic one here or just a standard preset temperature one on here. And both of these can be controlled by remote timers as well. The great thing about that is, is it means that your radiator can be a standalone radiator. So if you don't want the rest of your heating system on, but you want your towel rail to be on in the summertime, then these are great with the addition of a little dual fuel manifold. We'll show you how to pop that in in a sec. But also if you have just an electric heating system whereby you've got electric storage heaters throughout the whole house, these are a great addition as well to make sure that you've got a nice electrically heated up towel rail on your electricity meter. If you selected your tower rail to be electrically heated and standalone, so not on the wet central heating system, all standalone radiators with elements get supplied with a small funnel and some inhibitor as well. Really easy to add. Just take one of the bungs off the top of the radiator, put your funnel in there, tip your inhibitor in, and then top up the rest of the radiator with water. As soon as you've got water coming out at the top, just make sure you've got a towel at the bottom. Remove your funnel and then pop your bung back in and you should be ready to turn your element on. For the ultimate in versatility, these tower rails can also be used in a dual fuel system, whereby you have your heating element, but also the hot water coming from your wet central heating system. All you need to do is purchase a very small manifold like this one here, and then drain down the heating system, remove your old radiator valve, pop your manifold and your new heating element into the radiator at the bottom, and then reinstall your radiator valve and make good your pipe work. The main advantage of having a dual fuel radiator is that in the summertime, that when you have all your heating switched off, you can still have the towel rail on in the bathroom on your electric element and that will keep your towels nice and warm and dried out ready for use whenever you have a bath or shower. This method also works for the single element as well which heats up to a predefined temperature. The great thing is is that when you're not using your electrical element and it's in the winter time you can open up the two radiator valves and your wet central heating system will allow water to move over the element and into the radiator to heat that up in the normal way. They can take all types of valves, thermostatic or lock shield, angled or straight. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's Trade Radiators video and if you need any more help, please visit the website at traderadiators.com. Thanks very much for watching guys, bye bye.